Your friend leaves you for 30 minutes in his house. How to FCK with his mind. I like to rearrange things and I do it with my co-workers all the time. It isn't ever big and outright noticeable things like furniture or electronics. Or even desktop icons. At work I like to rearrange people's cork boards or slightly de-alphabetize just one or two folders or files in their cabinets. So if I were at somebody's house I would rearrange their cutlery drawer. But just their spoons and forks. The biggest thing I would like to do is to switch the washer and dryer around. Did this with a co-worker one day. Changed out his chair with wheels for a similar one with no wheels. He sat down and went to turn. Said he almost broke his back when the chair didn't go anywhere. Now I do harmless things like move his calculator. If he does this to me often I would switch two things around. Not big enough for him to notice right away. I would do this over and over again. He wouldn't notice as it is happening. However. He would probably be weirded out that a lot of his decorations in his house are in different spots than they are in pictures. But he doesn't remember ever moving them. I put green construction paper in a picture frame. Took a picture of the room with said picture frame on the side table. Then inceptioned that BTCH in photoshop and put the picture in the frame. It's been over a year and nobody has noticed as far as I can tell. Bonus. In hindsight I should have put an Illuminati eye somewhere in the picture since the house owner is super paranoid about the Illuminati. Leave. Go home. Change your clothes. Hair. Makeup. Etc. When they come back and see that you're not there. They'll call and ask where you went and just say what are you talking about? I've been home the entire time and then when you go back over you're wearing something totally different. Comma sneak a bell. Combine this one with the leave your clothes sitting behind in a dusting a flower prank and were golden. Back in college in the dorms. A friend of mine started dating a somewhat prudish girl. So naturally. We all hid condoms everywhere in his room. Inside every shoe. Under his keyboard. Inside any open box of food. Inside his pillowcases. Under his mattress. Inside of his socks that were already paired and rolled up in dresser. Inside pants pockets. Inside every pocket in his backpack. Inside pill bottles. In the fridge. Froze some in some ice cubes in the freezer. Anywhere and everywhere we possibly could. They ended up not lasting. But he kept finding them over the course of the next 7 months. Print the side of your face on a few windows or mirrors. It looks weird and creepy and they probably won't notice for a while and then think WTF. I used the bottom of a closed fist and my fingers to leave imprints on my sister's car window. Months later a few us were riding along and someone in the back asked what her baby was doing walking all over her car. I never confessed and everyone was really confused and cracking up. I'd go for something subtle like making picture frames hang crooked. Yeah. Me too. Or switch a couple of pictures. Advanced. Open up the back of the frames and switch the photos but leave the frames in the same spot. All the old simple classics, switch the drawers in the kitchen. Swap out bright light bulbs for low wattage bulbs. Change the set time on their alarm clock. Adjust the brightness setting on his TV or turn on closed captions. Change the default language on the PVR. Sugar in the salt shaker. Etc. The picture frames is genius. Chances are they'll think you switched the pictures and frames. So they'll move them back where they were. But something will still seem off to them. And they might never figure out why. You don't do anything. You sit there motionless. Exactly in the spot he left you for half an hour. Fix your gaze on the nearest wall and gaze at it blankly. When he returns. Make sure that you don't acknowledge his presence just because he makes a sound returning. Make sure he sees you sitting there staring into space. Wait for him to speak to you. Then when he finally speaks. Turn your head to face him as slowly and creepily as you can and say hello friend. Double quote. I reckon that's creepy enough. I print of hundreds of little New York Rangers logos and hide them everywhere. In his books. In his DVDs. In his video games. Glued under his desk. Everywhere. 
I'd make sure I'll leave some in spot he won't check till the spring summer next fall so that he gets mind fked into 2016. He hates the New York Rangers. I did this to my brother with his friend's face once. I had 300 plus pages left on my college printing account so I made 150 page sized printouts. Nearly wallpapered his room and put them under his mattress. Under the bag and the waster bin. Under his pillow. In his clothes drawers. In DVD and game cases. Etc. Had a few friends over for drinks one night. Next morning. I get out of the shower and go to my underwear drawer. It's empty. I figure I left them in the dryer after laundry. Also empty. Spent two hours looking for underwear. Once you've checked drawers. Washer. Dryer and crotch. There's no other likely location. They called later to tell me to look in the freezer. They had taken a few Tupperwares. Put my underwear in there. Filled them with water and put them in the freezer. So my shorts were in a solid block of ice. All of them. Don't do this when he knows you were at his house. Instead break into his house when he's not home and steal all his spoons. You will mess with his mind so bad because he'll know someone was in his house which violated his sense of security but he will constantly be wondering why they only stole the spoons. You have to do this to someone you work with. Once you steal all of their spoons. Start putting the word spoon multiple times down at the bottom of every email that you send. And change the text color to white so he'll never see it. This will cause ad targeting to start giving him ads for spoons in the sidebar of every website he visits. Continuing to FCK with his mind. My friend and I once took apart my other friend's pool table. Brought it upstairs. Assembled it in his living room. And took some pictures. After we brought the table back downstairs we hid the pictures in some extremely obscure directory in his computer in hopes that someday he would discover them. He did. It was underwhelming. Alright I have already done most of these to my best friend. Think Geekanoatron. Works great randomly beeps every 3 to 8 minutes and can be stuck almost anywhere. Slowly but surely rearrange stuff in his home. I did this over a month till he finally noticed. Best done with small rarely used items a couple at a time. It was hilarious the first time he found something it lead to a 30 minute scavenger hunt that each time he found something and put it back he found something else. Added benefit it can be done while they are there if the moment presents itself. Finally random glow in the dark boobs, smaller than a golf ball, hidden everywhere. I still don't think he has found them all. In with silverware. Fridge. Cabinets. Drawers etc. Pour glitter on the blades of every fan in the house. Did this once to a friend in college who bought his first house. We dusted every fan in his house, there was four. Wasn't around to see the results but after turning on two fans he knew better and went to grab his ladder in the utility closet. We had put the remaining glitter on the top step of it. He wasn't even mad and said he fell to the floor laughing after he'd grabbed the ladder and was doused in the face. I did this with my boyfriend. If your friend has an iPad. Use that iPad to text yourself. Have a full conversation in a way that sounds like something they would say. Either they'll watch the convo in real time and freak out or they'll find it later and think they did it without remembering. Stick googly eyes on all his pictures. Print John Cena heads and hide them everywhere. Open this thread on his computer. Make the browser close unexpectedly so that the tab recovery feature asks him if he wants to open it. And then let him get paranoid. Place several garden gnomes on unexpected places. Do not steal them from old man Henderson. Label them number 1. Number 2. Number 4. Number 5. 7. Subtly alter the name of his computer or Wi-Fi network. I changed a PC name from Portatus to Potatoes and it went unnoticed for 6 months. Doodle something on his mirror with your finger. Wait for him to shower. Change the icons from his usual browser to Internet Explorer and vice versa. Related story. Many years ago in an office I worked in one of the guys replaced my boss's coffee with decaf for a few weeks. The boss got into the habit of drinking more of it because it wasn't doing much for him. Then one day without warning he replaced it all with the strongest stuff he could find. 
Poor guy was shaking and yelling about everything. He was so agitated and didn't know why. Hard boil all the eggs in his her fridge and put them back. Just boil a few of them. Really make them wonder. I like this option. I really like hard boiled eggs. So if somebody boiled all but a couple of them. I'd take them to my couch and eventually crack a raw one on my lap. If you have time to prepare it do this. Replace all of his pictures with the same picture but with you somewhere in there. Family pics? You are now a sibling. Pics with so? You are now the so, or replace him and steal their so. A friend did this to our boss at his new year's party and it was great. This one time I threw a party at my apartment and I had such a good time I don't remember how the party ended. Next day I wake up and go take a shower to find a potato where my soap bar had been. Weird. But I'm not one to fret about the little things. I continue through my day and I keep finding potatoes. In the dryer. The freezer. Balanced on open doors. They said they hid 16 but I only found 12. Hide somewhere in his house. Not to jump out and spook him. Just so that you can see his reaction. Make sure it's a good hiding spot where he won't be able to find you. Then turn off your phone. He'll know you're up to something and will probably search his entire house looking for you. You gotta commit to it though. Keep it going for hours until his confusion really sets in. Call me old fashioned. But I still like to short sheet someone's bed. It's a trick my dad taught me. You have to unmake the bed. Then you take the sheet that's normally right on top of the sleeping person and you tuck one end in under the mattress at the top of the bed. Lay it down and then fold it back up. Put the blankets on and tuck it in as normal. It should look just like a regularly made bed. But when you try to get in. You've only got about a foot and a half of space. If you've never seen it before you'll be extremely confused. Story time. My dad is one of seven kids. My uncle was hosting Thanksgiving at his new house and showing off a little bit. He'd just had a bunch of landscaping done. 2. Before dinner. Two of his brothers sneaked off and short sheeted his bed. They've been doing it for years and can probably pull it off in under 5 minutes. Also over the course of the evening. We found his gardening tools and. Working in shift so as not to arouse suspicion. We sneaked off and dug a trench across his dirt driveway. Then we dug up the new hedges he just had put in and replanted them across the driveway blocking his car in. There were about a dozen perpetrators involved in this and the work went quickly. Later that night when my family was going to bed we got a phone call. Ha ha. Very funny. Short sheet my bed. Oldest trick in the book. Yada yada. The following morning at about 8am. We got another phone call. Um. F I can't believe you did that. Now I'm going to be late for work. I think he must have had to take the whole day off. That would have been a lot of work for one person and I'm sure he was cursing us the entire time. 